So welcome back to the channel, good people. Today we have the TCL Tab 8 LE. Now, just so you know, I don't know if there's variations to this tablet, but this particular one is sold by Metro by T-Mobile. If you had service for over 30 days, all you gotta do is basically pay the first month in activation fees so you can run out, walk out probably like $20 or so, and you'll have this tablet right in your hand. Now, it's not high-end, it's not mid-tier. This is a low-end tablet. So I'm gonna tell you now, temper your expectations. I am gonna be a little harsh in this video, but I have to be realistic because, again, this is an underperforming product. Be aware of that. Anyway, timestamps will be in the description like always. Let's get into this video. All right, guys, so right here, I do have the tech specifications up here so you can see it in real time with me so we can read it together. Now, only thing comes inside this box is obviously the plastic, which this was had the charger inside of it. The SIM card, but the store should do that themselves for you. Don't mind my ashy hand that just came out the cold, so it is what it is. I scooter to work every day. Uh, right here, you have the charger, and you do have the micro USB right here. I'm sorry, USB C, that's what comes with it, in addition to the quick guides and books and your SIM tool. Not going to bother opening that stuff because it's completely unnecessary. The tablet was already purchased and set up. So let's talk about some tech. Here we are right here. All right, let's put that right there for product placement. <laughs> so right here, we have a eight inch tablet, five megapixel camera, not much to it. Uh, it only has one camera in the back. So actually, you know what, before we do that, let me lock it. Let's take a look at this. So this is the top of the tablet. You have your USB headphone jack, which all devices should have. Apple, Samsung, OnePlus. <laughs> you have your micro, I'm sorry, uh, USB-C adapter here. So. Any USB-C is going to work for this. This does not have fast charging, rapid charge, or anything like that. So just use whatever charger you want. It's going to charge slow regardless. Uh, except for that 5-watt five, five Apple charger if you guys still have that. Lock button is right here. Your volume rocker is on the right-hand side. I'm not a huge fan of that, but it is what it is. It seems to be the what every Android almost is doing outside of a couple OnePluses. And I guess maybe the Nothing phone. I'm not too sure. I have to take a look at that one again. But anywho. Right here, we have this thing. Well, ooh, this is a Tab 4G. No, 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 Tab 8 4G. No, mine has three gigs of RAM, so this is definitely wrong right here. Let me go ahead and go to the TLC website so you can see it yourself. This is the one, the, the Tab 8 LE. I don't know what it is I had up. Now, I'll just talk some specs right now why it's waiting is loading up slowly. This is a 32 gigabyte tablet. So for you guys out there that think that you're going to play Call of Duty on this, nine times out of 10, you're not, because Call of Duty is at least 20 gigs of RAM, I'm sorry, 20 gigs of internal memory. And even if it did have it, it just doesn't run games very well. I'm not even going to waste my time running games with this because I already did. And it was a frustrating, terrible experience. Like Sonic Racing, like not Sonic Racing, but Sonic uh, Dash, Temple Run, yeah, you'll be fine. But if you start doing more graphical intensive games, not only will it not be able to hold it because of internal memory, it just doesn't run well at all. I did do Final Fantasy War the Visions on this, terrible. But anyway, 32 gigs internally, three gigs of RAM, uh, a 4080 mAh battery, which isn't bad at all. Like the battery actually runs very well. And normally you may say, well, you know what? That doesn't seem like it's really that big of a battery. You're right, phones have bigger batteries than this tablet by far. But with the low resolution of the screen and things, it's like you're not really missing out on much. Uh, so let's go over to specifications. Do, 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 do. All right, right here we have the MediaTek MT8766. So for you guys wondering what kind of processor that is, garbage. Just gonna be honest with you, it's a terrible processor. This is probably the equivalent of a, a I don't know, an Android phone that came out a couple years ago. Like to be honest, my Samsung A20 runs better and looks better than this phone it runs faster it's sharper better speakers better everything a a20 to put that in perspective we're at the a54 5g right now so there's an a30 there was an a40 there's an a42 there's an a50 the a51 there's so many a series phones that has come out over the years as a matter of fact to put that in a better perspective the stylo 4 i believe roughly or stylo 5 or something was out around the time of the a20 so and lg doesn't sell phones anymore that's how bad this tablet is in terms of processing power. Uh, Android 12, it does have a GPS. No fingerprint, facial recognition, yeah, but it's terrible. Uh, IPS display, 800 by 1200. 
what that means is that this is a very washed out light screen. The nits is not very high, even if I turn this up completely with the uh, brightness, see if I can find that, let's do that now. It's just not very good. And you can see how uh, slow it takes for it to load. If you're using web pages, yeah, it's almost, it's basically the highest it can possibly go. Now it won't look that bad to you guys on camera necessarily. It actually looks very good on camera, but in real time use, the colors look very washed out. And this is a background that I use for my actual computer. And normally the colors pop and it shoots right at you and it looks like it um, looks amazing. Not on this tablet. Everything about this just looks really, really bad. Um, does have mobile hotspot, technically capability, but with the Metro by T-Mobile plans, not so much. They don't allow it. Uh, no NFC. So you're not going to use this for it, like uh, transferring data or some people use their tablets for like checkpoints to hit wall security companies not possible with this and i'm assuming that it can't do that payment machine if you you know connect it to the bottom obviously bluetooth 5.0 a usb c 2.0 nothing special about that it does have an sd card slot up to i think 512 gigabytes you have to test that yourself at least that's what it says initially on the website but the most I normally put in is 256 gig. The 512 is on my Steam Deck right now. Or, or I might have a terabyte. I forget. It's been a while. No 5G whatsoever, which is very weird that they don't have 5G tablets for Metro by T-Mobile yet. I don't know why they don't. You would think that that will probably be, uh, they should have relaunched 5G tablets along with the 5G phones when they were trying to push it originally. But I guess it wasn't popular enough. Um, it's just not good. It's not good. The cameras are not good. The maximum is 5 megapixels. There is no flash on the back, as you can see. There is a front camera. There's no front flash at all. It's, it's just mediocre. But I will actually show you the camera for you guys that are interested in that for whatever reason. Because, <laughs> again, not everyone wants the best camera in the world. Sometimes you just want something to take a quick picture. And it does do the job in that regard. Like, I want to put it in decent lighting. But, honestly, uh, this this is a the bare bones minimum tablet. It's really not that good. Uh it, 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 it's not good. I'm stuttering. It's not good at all. And, and I really don't suggest it to anyone that thinks they're going to do a lot of productivity on this. If you're getting it for a kid or a baby or someone to watch Blues Clues and things like that, or you just want to watch Netflix and stuff, yeah, you're perfectly fine. Check email. You're perfectly fine. But even with that, going through applications, you are going to experience lag. You're going to experience dead zones on the screen when you touch it. When I'm reading manga and I'm touching it, all of a sudden, I, it, it automatically clicks into a picture and loads up another website. It's a real pain in the ass, but yeah, oh God, I'm trying to give it some saving grace and it's not looking good. Anyway, let's go into the next section where I actually show you the cameras amongst other things with this bad boy right here. So just to give you an idea of the speeds of this tablet, I'm gonna go ahead and go to YouTube. So when I go to YouTube, you know, you click into it, see that it didn't even load YouTube up yet. Didn't load it yet spinning spinning finally loaded so that's why i say and you see me touching it you see the lag as i'm touching the screen this is how your experience is going to be probably 50 percent and i'm being generous when i say 50 percent of the time now some people do not care about that and they don't want a smooth experience <laughs> i'm just kidding they don't care because they just they understand that certain things is cheap and they lower their expectations i did the same thing when i bought this tablet I just didn't think that it would be below the expectations that I already set for it, which was pretty low to begin with. Like I saw other reviews and was just like, you know what? They're talking about more high profile things using Canva, using YouTube on a regular basis. You know, you, who was that? Kitty cat attacks. Never heard of her, but for research purposes, <laughs> let's go ahead and screenshot. There we go. All right, so did you have a screenshot? I didn't go through this. So you see this guy here. They, again, you see me moving. It's just it's not smooth at all. The experience is not smooth. You hit the home button. Let's go back into YouTube. Okay, that loaded. Let's go ahead and go over to Google right here. All right, trying to swipe. Swiping's not that good. Going to go ahead and type in the TCL menu, go to soundbar, see if it pops up right away. Let's check. Internet is a little slow, but because it's 4G, the pictures haven't popped up yet. I'm assuming. There we go. So again, and you see me touching it. 
you saw how many times I had to swipe before the page actually fully loaded and allowed me to do that. Again, a lot of people are, that are used to using faster phones or even mid-tier phones are going to notice the just the, the amount of stutter that this thing has. So I just wanted you to see that in real time before you think that, you know, Ian, it's not that bad. You, you, you got to be exaggerating. <laughs> I am not exaggerating. And I'm actually being nice because before I had applications like Canva, I had applications like Ucut that were doing edits. I had photos. I was in a Google Play Store. I was doing so many different things in general. And you just see me click it. This thing did not load yet. I don't even know what's happening. There we go. It's slowly, slowly loading. It's not a good tablet at all. For the price tag, I'll be honest with you, uh, I know people that bought this tablet, used it for a couple months, didn't like it, canceled the line, and then they still have the tablet. So they like gave it away to family, or they gave it away to their, their, their niece or nephew. You gotta understand that this tablet is not meant for the high performer. It's not meant for the iPad user. It's not meant for hell. It's not meant for the Samsung Tab 7 or user, whatever it is they have at Metro by T-Mobile. It's just a, not a good tablet at all. And I never understood why Androids, oh my God, I never understood why Androids don't do a better job of releasing tablets. Use the same processors that you guys have in your phones and your tablet would be a lot better, but they don't do that. And then they supply companies like TCL, which isn't really a good company overall, if we're being honest here, and they give them these cheap behind tablets that don't work well. And I'm just gonna scroll back and forth. Look, look, look at this. I scrolled through this a bunch of times and it lags every time I do it. <laughs> <laughs> every single time it lags this is a problem this is a huge problem that's all i'm saying and you know they sell this product in stores saying oh it's amazing it's a great product it's terrible can you imagine paying the 199 that just probably costs regular price and then op unboxing it smiling during christmas time or someone's birthday just cheesing feeling like you really did something special and then you see the kid's face like drop after they start using it it's horrible this is not a good tablet guys I can't stress that enough, but I have it because I don't want to use my primary phone to read manga all the time because that means I have to keep it on the charger more often. So that's why I got a tablet. But I am considering buying like an iPad or something more higher end that I could bring a BYOD because you can bring your own tablet to Metro if it has uh, uh, not Wi-Fi, but actual network capabilities. But make sure it's unlocked before you do that. Um, you know, that's this section. Let's go into the camera and I can show you how that looks. I'm not even going to go outside. I'm just going to show you how it looks indoors because I don't even want to waste my time doing that. Just so you guys know, this camera has 1080p 30 frames. I'm just going to put a couple of boxes and things in here. I know I got the shaky cam, but trust me, even if it wasn't shaky, it would still look like just terrible garbage. This, this is a terrible tablet. Does not look good. Uh, the camera wise, it looks very choppy. To be honest, you can probably use a camera phone that's five years old in the low end market and it will still be sharper than this because it will still have 20 megapixels or 15 or eight or something. This is a five megapixel camera. I'm not even gonna bother wasting my time with the front camera because everything in my soul tells me is probably worse than the back camera. We're being honest here. This is not good. This is not a good tablet. Now it will be good enough for people that just wanna record something, but if you do this in any other lighting situation that isn't perfect, it's just going to come out choppy. It's going to come out looking like a PS3 game, like you can see right here. It's not smooth in the slightest. The colors look terrible. Well, the colors are average, I guess. But when you, you know, shift it, you notice that the, it, it's bad. It's it's just really, really bad, to be honest with you. Um, I don't have anything else to say outside of that. It's just terrible. So the reason I'm showing you this, like, I'm stuttering. The reason I'm showing, and I'm not really recording that because I don't care about this tablet. The reason why I'm showing you still photos like this is because this tablet looks like when I went down to the menu section, unless I got to manually do something, um, it didn't actually let me have a screen recorder. And I honestly didn't want it screen record like i didn't want to have to download it and use as longer than i had to for that aspect again i only read manga off of it i don't watch youtube nothing just manga the pictures if you can see this just aren't high quality at all like i like it looks better on my camera through the eighth you know what's crazy the picture is so choppy right here like when you look at this it's choppy the pen looks choppy in my eyes when i'm looking at this like it looks like again you know how you see those backgrounds in video games and something doesn't belong there? It's like you, you hit the table and the pen doesn't move because it's like embedded in it. The way they did the graphics is not a movable object. This was what this looks like. 
And as we look at this, again, it's possible to take decent photos on it, decent enough, just so that you can explain to people what it is. But the quality of the photos is just terrible. It's just not good at all. Um, I don't suggest this tablet to anyone that wants a camera. Like, it's just not good. It's not good. I, I have to just keep saying it over and over again. It's just not good. This is a terrible, terrible tablet. Um, I don't know why they released this. Like, like, this should be criminal to release this tablet to the public. Again, I understand why people use it. As a matter of fact, I would I would be dare to say that the Alcatel Tab 2 probably runs smoother than this. And that's saying something, because that was a terrible tablet too, overall. Like, I did a review on it, and I didn't bash it as much because I understand the expectations of certain tablets. But when something lags to the point where just swiping it makes it lag, that's a problem. Look at this. This video is spinning. It was spinning before it started. What is going on? This is terrible. It doesn't have the processing power to handle basic tasks. And they released this to the public as if, you know, this is a free tablet. No kidding. That's why. Because if you would have charged someone for this, you should get sued for false advertisement. This is not a good tablet. And um, it's just not good. I'm, I'm getting out of here. I'm going to look. You know what? Let's just rush the rest of this review because it pains me to have to do this for you guys. Even though it's informative to tell you not to buy it, it's really painful to have to go through this. You know, you, know, you ever just have that gut feeling where it's like, you know, something's bad. It's kind of like if you go to a car dealership and you work at a particular job and you're supposed to sell a particular product that you don't believe in. So you can't come to terms with selling it because you have morals. That's how I feel about this tablet. I, I can't ever suggest this tablet to someone outside of you just want a tablet and you want the experience of not having to use your phone for certain basic needs. And even with those basic needs, this does it slow. Oh, Lord have mercy. This is terrible. Anyway, let's go on to the next section. So honestly, all in all, this tablet is not meant for, like I said before, honestly, I didn't even need to do this section because you kind of already got the idea of how I felt about the tablet, each section that I did, but it's not a good tablet at all. I felt more proud of reviewing this product on a channel, which was $7 than this tablet that I paid for. It's slow, it's laggy, the screen is cheap, it looks bad, it reminds me of those cheap blue phones that you used to see back in the day that they tried to overcharge you for that were factory and locked that people take back to the country. It's not a good phone. I mean, it's not a good tablet at all. And um, can I suggest someone to buy it? Yes, and the reason why is because if you're looking for something cheap and effective that just does what it needs to do, go to email, do certain things, it will work for you. But understand you're going to deal with a lot of lag. You're going to deal with a keyboard that lags also. And I'm kind of telling you the reasons not to get it mixed in the reasons why to buy it. Temper your expectations when buying this piece of junk. Just going to be completely honest with you. Do not expect much performance. Dare I say expect it not to work over time. Expect it not to have longevity. It's just not good. Like, this is the type of tablet where I don't care if it has a tempered glass. I don't care if it has a case on it. Because if it breaks, I, I'm not going to have any sorrow for it. I will just throw it in the trash, take my email off of it, one of my extra emails, and never look at it again. I didn't care to get insurance on this. I just generally did not care because I knew that how bad it was. I just wanted a bigger screen to read some of my manga so that or my manguas, whatever it's called, the Korean version, and all the webtoons and stuff because that's what I do on a regular basis. That's what I like doing. It's just not good. Anyway, like and subscribe like always, guys. I just had to be real with this one. I, I you know, normally I'm I'm hopeful on products, but I, I had to revert back to my old days when I first started the channel and just it's trash. This is a terrible tablet, and I only suggest it if you want a tablet experience for a limited internet or you have a younger kid. But that's it. If that child has played with any phone that was better than this, I'm telling you now they're gonna put it down and ask for your phone again to play games. Just gonna be honest with you. It sucks. See you in the next video.